Hi guys and welcome back to another Disneyland Paris vlog. We are sitting in the car as you can tell. We always start in the car and we are driving to Disneyland Paris. We um, went over to Paris last night so we already had one sleep here um, and I think we arrived at like half past 12 at night like half one if you say it like that. So we decided to first do a night at the hotel room and after that go to Disneyland Paris for two full days. The start was not so good because we have a yeah what can we say about the room it is an economy room with the tiniest bed ever so we yeah. immediately asked for an upgrade in the morning which we got so that is perfect but yeah we are having two full days at the park and once again you guys are coming along with us so we have a 20 minute drive and we will see you in a sunny disneyland paris busy but that is okay the last time is four months ago yeah four months so we are going through the gates and then we are in the park We made it through a lot of crying kids. Mission one complete. Mission one complete. We are in the parks. The park. I always say parks. I always make it plural. We are in the park. I am afraid that it's going to be busy today. But we are going to have like 30 degrees Celsius of weather. So that is going to be good. Or maybe not, maybe it's going to be too warm, but it's sunny. The last few times that we went, it was raining, so I'm not complaining. What? Hey. Uh, then he's making fun of me. Uh, you need to think for the scratch of your room from Kogensburg. Right? Yeah. It's very warm. Just smell yourself, smear yourself in with a lot of sun. Yeah. Hmm? I have to uh, smear myself in uh, with a lot of oil. <laughs> I have to put on a lot of sunscreen because I'm going to burn like crazy. But I think that our first quest is going to be breakfast. Breakfast! Because we only had like a tiny bite at the hotel room. So we are going to find some breakfast. I can see Pluto in the back. Oh, there will be very My voice is croaky. But first, breakfast.
did a quick toilet break and a water break because sometimes you gotta do that. It is hot, so I'm having a fan because I'm that person. I'm also your fan. <laughs> it's so nice. <laughs> and now we are going to do the Voyager. So let's see who is going to win. Danny just uh, became a galactic hero, as you could have seen. He hit the high score! <laughs> That's insane. I managed to do it once, and I think this is your second or third time? Yeah. Maybe? Oh god. I think a lot more, <laughs> but... He thinks a lot more because it's not on camera. Ma, ma. Uh, I got the camera. Yeah. Yeah, and now we are walking to Star Tours because it is hot, so we want to get out of the sun and in the shade and in rides and in the air conditioning. So hopefully Star Tours won't be too busy. I don't think so, but we are going to get out of the shade, out of the shade, out of the sun, into the shade.
I have an apple slush and I hope it's good. Pretty good. Then he has a strawberry one. Is it good? Really sweet. Really sweet. Really sweet. Okay. Do you want to taste this? Better? Mm. They are both pretty good, but they have slushy. We are also heading over to Last Chance Cafe to have a light lunch because later on we have a reservation for dinner which I'm pretty excited about so you will see that later on but for the heat a slushy is just perfect to slowly walk over to your destination of choice brave freeze <laughs> but I'm also on the hunt for a dole whip they always have dole whips except for when I'm here where? For the cool whip. whips, it's a dough whip. A pineapple dough whip. But yeah, what else? It's very cold. It's very cold? It's sweet, but it's also very your, sour. Your drink? Yeah. It's a combination of sweet and sour. And I don't like sour. I do. That's why I have the apple version. Apple! Mm. So, yes. I don't know. He's not used to sour. So, he cannot handle sourness too much. I, on the other hand, really love sourness. Oh yeah! Okay. It's so hot. I'm going to put you back in the case and we will probably see you with some lunch. So good to have some alternative food in the parks because normally it's just fries and burgers so to have some Asian style food mm. it's delicious mm. wonderful highly recommend rice in heaven it is so good mm. so you get some Cantonese style rice no. <laughs> and you get some um, caramel sauce chicken and the flavor is so good and some vegetarian nems but I think it's just spring rolls so if you are very full of all the fries and the burgers and all that kind of stuff I highly recommend Last Chance Cafe because it's good is it good? Yes. Very good. <laughs> Still warm. <laughs> yes. Still but busy. It's, it's hand. 
<laughs> handleable. <laughs> handleable. Huh? Yeah, you can handle it better than I can. I do not do so well in hotness. We saw a new collection in the store from Tarzan. You don't see that ever anywhere. Like that was cool, and they also had a bunch of new stuff from The Lion King. And what else? I think those were the highlights. New Lion King ears. It's and shocking that Tarzan is 25 years old. Yeah. Supposedly, so I'm getting old. Yeah, we are getting old. Tarzan is 25 years old, so therefore they have new merch in the park. And I'm definitely going to head back for those ears. But yeah, I can also pick them up later. But that was pretty cool. Right now we are walking in Frontierland. We are going to... Uh, the, excuse you. Hoot, hoot. We are going to the trading post. Finger crossed that it's open. I hope so. Because I have some pins that I want to trade. So hopefully we can make some pin trade. Big Thunder Mountain. Big Thunder Mountain just broke down and it restarted again just as we were passing by so we are lucky to well don't I'm, we i <laughs> don't think we have a walk on but i don't think it's going to be a long wait which it normally is so fingers crossed fingers crossed <laughs> so we just went over to the trading post and i managed to do two pin trades so that was pretty cool and hopefully we do not have to wait that long for Big Thunder. But we will see you on it or after it. Marlouz is a little bit sad. Yeah. <laughs> I have... I think I have like an annual pass for... Maybe six years? How long Eight. do we have? Eight years even. 2016. And they have been advertising pineapple whips or pineapple doll whips like for eight years. And I only managed to get it once a hundred years ago. Right now it is freaking warm weather. So I thought... If they are ever going to sell it, it must be now because it is 31 degrees. So I pull up to the little shop. What is it called? La Bruce France. something. Absolutely. It is behind me in Adventureland. Yeah, I'm not sure. You can maybe see it in the back. So I asked the kind lady, can I please have a pineapple whip? And she says, I'm so sorry. We do not have pineapple. So I have to come back in like 20 minutes and hopefully they have it then. But yeah, advertising everywhere, but they don't ever sell it. So Disneyland Paris, stock up on your pineapple whips because I want them and you never have it. So that sucks. So now we're waiting for my pineapple whip to come. <laughs> it's the only thing I want here. 
they it's never a real have it. For yeah, them. it's a real struggle. Also, with the the little slushies that we wanted to get, we walked past it, sold out. The machine didn't work. Like sad stuff. Once we went back there on the on the way back, they had it. So our first try sold out every time. We always have to try multiple times before we can get anything. So that's kind of sad. But on a more positive note, I get my pineapple whip in 20 minutes. We did cram in a bunch of rides because we did Buzz Lightyear Star Tours. Mm, Phantom Manor, Big Thunder Mountain and that is basically it but it is pretty busy so the fact that we did cram in those rides is like almost an achievement on its own and now we are just chilling and letting our legs rest and with the wind in the shade getting out of the sun a little bit and we have a reservation in yeah, one and a half hours right mm -hmm. yeah like one and a half hours so yeah we are going to do some more rides we did not see a lot of shops so we also need to shop and uh, we will see you uh, so where the pin store yeah we went to the pin store and shop. the frontierland shop that's right at the entrance of frontierland and discoveryland shop yeah but not the big main street shops yeah, those we didn't do so we are definitely going to shop later on and you will see us everywhere in between hopefully you will see me next with a pineapple whip fingers crossed oh my god it's finally here it's so good <laughs> If you like pineapple, try to get this. I can say get this, but nine, nine out of ten times I don't have it. But it is so good. So many people. We managed to also squeeze in pirates after my long awaited pineapple whip. She was so happy. So, yeah, I was so happy. It was so good. And now we are walking over to Walls because we have a dinner reservation over there and the food is so amazing. So, I'm very excited about that. And I think it is going to rain a little bit at the beginning of the evening, but we will see what is going to happen. But first we are going to have a nice bite at Walt.
So we are back. It has oh. It has been a while since we left Waltz. It was, was so working. delicious. It was so good. Oh. Waltz is always so good, so highly recommend eating there. But after that, it started raining, so it was very hard to film anything because one, this camera does not stand the rain. Two, the shops that we went into were so crowded that there wasn't like any point in filming that. So yeah, we missed some time. Let's go on the curb before we get ran over by oh, that guy. And right now we are trying our look at Hyperspace Mountain. And I believe my watch is doing some stuff so I cannot tell the time right now. Okay. Uh, it's half past eight, so we have like one and a half hours to kill before the fire, fu the fire starts showing, the firework show starts, and uh, also the electrical sky parade. So we are going to try to do more rides and some more shops, and we will finish it off with some fireworks and the electrical sky parade. Beyonce hair moment. <laughs> so everything is waiting for the fireworks. So the rides at Discovery Land. Is this Discovery Land? Yes, this is Discovery, this is Discovery Land. Land. The waiting times are very low. So we did Hyperspace Mountain and we also did Star Tours once again. And right now it's only 30 to 40 minutes until the shows start at the castle. So we are slowly making our way there. And hopefully you will be presented with some fireworks. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights plans <laughs> due to unforeseen circumstances also known as wind the electrical sky parade continued without drones so we stood in the middle of the crowd and the announcement came and we were a little bit cold because the wind is picking up obviously because otherwise the drones would continue and we thought hmm we are not going to do that so we are walking over to world of disney to do some additional shopping because one does when you're in Disney. So, I'm so sorry for no fireworks on day one. That is, that is a first, I guess. 
normally I always show you some fireworks mm -hmm. but we are going to try tomorrow because hopefully the weather is going to be a little bit better so stay seated for some World of Disney because we did not know that there was a lot of difference between the room so then he booked an economy room I guess was it the first it? time yes yeah he booked a, the economy room because it was the cheapest option but yeah it was like a very tiny two-person bed me maybe even like a one and a half 140. it was 140 meters wide so it was very cozy but you could barely turn around without hitting each other so we were like forcefully stuck together and it was not a good time so yeah we really wanted to upgrade the room also it was a very strange thing I unfortunately did not film any or didn't t take any photos but maybe I can um, insert the photos from booking.com so you can have a little visual of how the room looked it was also very warm because there is no airco um, so it was just not a good time but we were there in the middle of the night so for just one sleep it was okay but then we checked the, uh, the booking itself to see what we actually booked and I was like but it did not look anything like um, the thing I searched on booking so I went over to the pictures on the site and I said like it does not look anything like it but once we got further at like the 20th image I could see the economy room that we were actually placed in so yeah it, it was a slight mm, there was a chance that it did not work but we went down or we I say we then he went down the next morning to try and ask if we could upgrade the next two nights to the comfort room because that was actually the thing that sold us on booking this place, you know. So fortunately, it worked. So right now we. Um, I asked really, really Yeah, nice. he asked really nice. <laughs> so now we are going back there and change the room key and hopefully. We are going to be greeted with a nice comfortable room with a bigger bed but I will give you a small room tour when we get there. Either way, if it is going to suck or if it's going to be good, I will show it to you. So yeah, that was a little update on the hotel situation. It's also next to a pretty busy road 
and it is like 20 minutes away from Disneyland Paris but that's okay because we have a car and it is a lot cheaper in comparison with the partner hotels or the Disney hotels so we thought why not take a chance and just see how it is but the first impression was not so good but hopefully they can make up for it with the comfort room but you will see that in a second which I also said for the fireworks but this time you will see it in a second bye we arrived in the comfort room then he is pushing some buttons and stuff is happening we arrived in the comfort room and it is a whole lot better in comparison with the economy room I will put in some pictures of how it was and I will turn the camera around and show you how it is now so let's see <laughs> the comfort room from the apart hotel I will leave the hotel in the description below so if you want a affordable um, hotel for your stay in Disneyland Paris then you can look for yourself I don't know yet how well this bed is going to sleep but you know what it looks like so let's turn you around and see it's a lot softer than the other one okay Oh, it's a random head. This is your view when you enter the room. I'm standing with my back against the door. There's Danny peeking out. Does not come with the room. You need to full charge for that. I'm very expensive. <laughs> On the right. <laughs> you have a little wardrobe for your stuff. You actually have a little kitchen area with some cupboards. Not really sure. Oh, you even have some... Kitchen utensils, a, mic a microwave, some of that, even some cutlery and a bin, um, and even a little fridge. fridge with it, and a freezer, so that is pretty cool. This was also something that we had in the other room, not really sure, I did not care to check for uh, utensils and stuff, but... The kitchen was there. We also have a full-length mirror and the bathroom with a beauty mirror, toilet of course and a shower. Also this area is quite similar in comparison with the other room because the bathroom was fine but it is a little bit more spacious a cute desk with a tv some lightning a chair and a bed that is bigger than the other one <laughs> and some art and a cute lamp like the decor in here is a hundred times better because the other one was just depressing and we even have a lamp that is in the way you even have an airco aircon we did not have that in the previous yeah, room we can't control it it's automatically controlled oh it's automatically controlled so it stays on 21 degrees okay so it is a standard of 21 degrees then he says so if you turn it on it will make noise because right now it is making some noise so i think it is currently trying to get it at 21 degrees and then it will stay like that mm, it's not now. but the decor is a hundred times better in comparison with what it was before we are still on the busy street so i will not open the window tonight but oh my god sorry Oh, now something is happening. So yeah, that is the comfort room with a bed that is bigger than toddler size because the other one was so small, it was insane. I can feel the air now. It's cooling. Yes? Yeah. I thought. It is over here. Because it didn't, it didn't do anything. Okay. But now I have pressed the It button. works. Then he has it fixed works. the aircon. So last night was pretty warm because today it was 30 or 31 degrees. So it was very cozy in a small bed and also with no aircon. Pretty warm. But I think tonight is going to be a lot better. Do you want to join me? Next to me? 
Or no? You do not want to join it's me? It's a little bit smaller than Arbet. It's a little bit smaller than Arbet, but mm -hmm. it's definitely bigger in comparison with the one we had yesterday. Yes. So, how did you enjoy our day? It was a very uh, nice day. Nice day. Nice day. Then he always gets a little bit nervous when talking English because normally on a day to day basis he's doing so good with his English, but when the camera turns on he just does not know how to say it. I'm a little bit camera shy. <laughs> he's camera shy. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Even after being together for well, like 11, 11 years, years. Yeah. And I've been YouTubing for five, six, five, four. Normally I was fooling around, and but if the camera's on, it's always. Well, you're still fooling around with the camera's on, but you just don't know how to pronounce some words in English. Yeah, and also translate your thoughts in your head immediately to what you want to say in mm -hmm. English because. We're Dutch, if you haven't noticed before. I want to say a lot of words. A lot of words. But it's okay. You had fun today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you also thought the food at Waltz was amazing. So it was amazing. Nice dinner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it was already, uh, it was crowded in the park. Yes, but uh, yeah, the weather was nice. Uh, it was a nice day to do things together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and even though it was busy, People-wise, the waiting times were pretty much okay. Mm -hmm. 25 minutes, some 45 yeah. minutes. We were very lucky that Big Thunder Mountain shut down and right at the moment that it went back on, then he noticed it and he says, people are getting back in there, so we need to go there because... Come it, on, woman! It, yeah. Come on, Mokko! <laughs> Mokko! <laughs> so, <laughs> so it was basically a walk-on. I think we had to wait for five maybe 10 minutes max so mm -hmm. that was pretty cool we ended up doing quite a lot of rides we did both light year star tours twice mm -hmm. one uh, during the day one in the evening we did hyperspace mountain big thunder mountain phantom manor pirates i think that was it mm -hmm. yeah the pin training shop pin training shop. yeah we did some shops Unfortunately, the drone show, Electrical Sky Parade, got cancelled, but we are going to retry tomorrow. And we are also going to do uh, the studios tomorrow. I think we are going to cut that in two parts, because the studios park is basically half a day park, but the crowds get insane during the day. So I think... If I may plan that without your consent, <laughs> we are going to start in the studios because I personally really want to see the new... I disagree, woman. No, you do not. <laughs> I really want to see the Alice show that got replaced for the motor show. Like, I'm not really sure how it's called. Monters. Motor. Motor sports. action stuff. In that same place, they are... Um, Men stuff having an Alice in Wonderland show, which we did not see, so that is something cool. But the run times are only during the day, so we cannot do that at night. Mm -hmm. And most of the time Flight Force is okay. Oh, I'm really excited for that. Yeah, he wants to do Flight Force. So I think those are two things that we can do during the day without too many waiting times. Then he also wants a pizza at Star Stark Factory. Mm -hmm. They have so, new pizza, so yeah. I want to try, you have to try it. Yeah, they have some chicken, uh, chicken flavored, <laughs> chicken flavored pizzas. So I think that is something we are going to do in the morning, and then during the uh, second half of the day, I think we are going to park hop for a bit if the crowds are insane at studios, mm -hmm. and then we have a reservation at the steakhouse. And after the steakhouse, we can hold back for some rides at the studios and end with the fireworks and the drone show in the normal park. So tomorrow is going to be a lot of park hopping, but that will probably be shown in part two, because normally I always cut these into uh, single day vlogs. Vlogs, that was very Dutch. Vlogs. 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 <laughs> so right now we are going to get comfortable in our comfort room. And Yay. we will see you tomorrow.